What's up guys, it's Josh Hazard here. Today I'm here at my local in Wyndham. Since I'm not uploaded for like a week on my channel, I thought I'd better film something, so I'm gonna do a bike cup tutorial. So yeah, let's get into it. If you didn't know what the motion of a bike cup is, it's this. Just to let you guys know, this is the intermediate trick. And the reason I'll teach you a bike cup first is because I've been able to do a bike cup for years and I know everything about them. I've got knowledge about them, so yeah, that's why. So the first step doesn't relate to doing a bike cup but you need to get these down before trying it. So you need to get tail whips, double whips, and dry flips. And I recommend trying these air instead of straight, because it's a lot easier. So that core over there, I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys these three tricks. Right, so step two is learning the butt cut motion. So to do this, you wanna like do half a whip, kind of like that. And once it gets to half a whip, you want to bring it over and then whip. So like half whip, right, whip. If you can whip umbrella, then you just got it. It's like a whip umbrella whip. Step three is once you've got the butt cut motion down, you want to keep doing it and practicing it flat. So you'll probably be a bit slow like that, but once you've got it down, just keep practicing it flat. You'll be able to get it quicker and quicker. And yeah, you just want to. I just want to keep doing this. It's like when I look, when I first like tail with flats, I was kept doing this, then do that thing. So yeah, that was like ages ago, but anyway, I just want to keep doing that. Practicing the motion of butt cup. Right, so step four is finding a quarter pipe that you're comfortable with. Personally, I want to use a four foot, but I wouldn't recommend this at all because you won't get close if you've never tried it. So I would recommend trying a six or seven foot to start with. So after you've found a quarter pipe that you're comfortable with, you just want to go up to it, 180, and try and do a butter cut motion. It's like this. You just want to keep doing that until you're more comfortable with it. So, just keep going. You might want to like do the motion and then jump on it to get used to it. Just keep doing that. So step number seven, is that you want to go up the court with two feet on the deck, do the butt cut motion, hop off, and then hop back on. Just get used to doing the butt cut and jumping, like this. Now, it may be, you may think, what's the point of doing that? But that kind of get, like, gets you warmed up, you jump in, you're doing the butt cut motion, you're hop, hopping back on. The only thing you're not doing is airing with your feet in the air. Now, step number eight, you're gonna, probably going to be a bit scared because you've never done it, but you just want to go for it. So do the same thing as hopping on, but just jump a bit higher. Try and pull it around as quick as you can. And yeah, so you want to try and get next to you kind of thing. Another thing that definitely helps is that when you go up, you kind of want to like hit the coping because if you hit the coping, it kind of like pushes you out more or pops you more. So you get more height and you'll probably be able to get closer like this. Step number nine is getting the trick one foot. So pretty much the same thing. Just make sure you get jump, get it around, and try and get one foot on it. Either your front foot or your back foot. All right, so this is step number 10. This is the last step. All you gotta do is just commit now, really, because I've taught you everything you need to do. Just follow that steps, and you'll probably be able to land it eventually. So you might fall off quite a bit, slide out if you commit, but just keep going for it and you'll get it. So I'll try and show you like what you might do if you, a beginner for it. So you might get a really close to that. Just keep trying and trying and you'll get it. Now that I've taught you how to back up, I'm gonna get a few angles of me doing it on the fish eye as well. So yeah, let's do it. So after you've learned that, Start adding a buttercup whip, or whip buttercup, or even buttercup bars, which are my favourite. So they're like the start tricks for like after you've learnt buttercups because they're just one upping, adding an extra whip or a bar. So bearing in mind, I've been riding about five years, so it took me about a year to buttercup, I would say. Now I'm going to try and do a buttercup to whip and a whip to buttercup on this quarter. So let's see how it goes. That's a tricky one. Woo. Oh. You have to go through that pain. Just do it. You can also 
do it with a little bank like this, so I'll do it on that. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with this tutorial, how it came out. Right, so that's going to be it for this buttercup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and also that you learned how to buttercup. Make sure to like the video up, comment down below ideas or other tricks you want me to do, or just what you thought of the video in general, or if it helped you, if you landed a trick, all that stuff. And share the video, subscribe, and yeah, I'll catch you in my next video, I guess. Woo! You broke my heart, and you went away. I sit here and suffer, girl. I suffer day by day.